Good morning, Maya Barback. Here's the plan. Roof beams. Kind of ignored those a little bit yesterday, so we'll try and take a closer look today. And north wall preparation. Digging out the trench, maybe some removal of vegetation. We have asked the engineer to take a look again at the trees that are running along that wall and if there is any potential future threat as they grow from their roots to impact that wall, we've asked for them to be removed. Could possibly go wrong. Rather unusually this morning, I've got a request. I try normally not to hit you with constant requests for subscribing and liking and sharing, but today I'm gonna to make an exception. So if today's video doesn't make you violently ill, would you mind, just as a little experiment, hitting that like button? We are very fortunate that a lot of you do that already and it is massively appreciated many of you have subscribed already and if you haven't oh come on help me out here we're only a little baby channel but just for today if you wouldn't mind hit that like button i want to see if we can really get those numbers up and see if it makes a difference i have no idea i think most people have no idea how the YouTube algorithm truly works. We do get from you guys a lot of likes. We get occasional dislikes and you know that's part of the process and that's absolutely fine. But I'd really like to try a little experiment where as many of you as possible just hit the like button. Let's see what we get and then I can try and figure out does it make a difference? Just once, just today, just for me. Well, just for the crew, really. They're the ones doing all the work. Thank you. Well, we've done blokes digging holes in the past. Here's bloke digging trenches and holes for the footings. Nathaniel's here. Uh, he was previously being helped by uh, Lito, who's disappeared momentarily, but I'm sure we'll be back. So they are continuing to dig the trench and we'll move this way. Probably at some point removing two or more trees along the way. I don't like the fact that trees like this one, which they could potentially work around, they say, if they leave it, those roots will grow and it will, in theory, create problems later on. So, although technically these trees are outside of our property, I'm sure the next door neighbor won't mind if we get rid of them. And it'd make me happier. It turns out I am authorized. So up we go. So yesterday we saw from the drone that all of this area, which includes the master bedroom, the balcony, the walk-in closet, and the bathroom, all of that was poured. So, the new bits are... Sorry about all the interference from things in the way, but that's a construction site for you. So this is new. Across here. All around here over on the west edge across here i reckon they are well uh, yeah well over halfway towards pouring all the columns they are not columns dummy all of the roof beams uh, i'm confident they're more than halfway and in fact Clearly we can't see, but they may well have done two thirds or three quarters. We've still got forms on a lot that may have been poured. We will come back in a while and try and have a look from above and see how far we really have got to. But 
but still a lot of activity up here. And so far, I have not yet moved the pulley up to the top beam and they've not yet attached the cage to it. I imagine they're waiting for that top beam to uh, cure a little more, if curing is the right term. Well, this is the other way of getting concrete upstairs. Just using your head. Or with hands. My bar back. There we go. There is more than one way to skin a bag of cement. This was a missed opportunity. They definitely now cannot use it as a ramp to fly their motorbikes over this corner of the house. What a shame. What a great video. Let's go and see how they're getting on. So this on the right side was what they had done before. And now, you can probably make out there is a lot more progress. Some of this we saw this morning from below. So let's get a bit closer, see what it looks like from here. So here we go. Done on the bottom left and bottom right. Done in the centre. Done on the left. So basically, it's this area where a couple of the bedrooms, three of the bedrooms are. On the north side and are still on the front, on the east, that remain to be poured. But a lot more progress than we saw recently, well, yesterday really. So next week, yeah, no problem. Wouldn't be at all surprised if they've got it done by the middle of the week, to be honest. Uh, let's just have a look elsewhere. What else can we see? So this is going to be the view. I mean, obviously we're too high up here. Let's make it a bit more realistic from the master bedroom. Not the master balcony, really. Still a bit high. How much lower can we get? Let's get a bit more centered over where the balcony actually is. So, a bit more. Roughly here. And again, as a reminder, that tree has to come down, but that won't be until near the end of the process. So that's what we'll wake up and see when we come out on the balcony, with power lines in the way. Hopefully nobody else builds anything very high on the north east corner of the subdivision next door that starts to block us out. But that's what we'll get. Now let's have a quick look this way. We didn't go this way yet. So this is going north. I think we need to go a little higher here. In fact we need to go a lot higher. There's power cables all over the place. That should be enough. So this is the road, just getting into the centre of your picture now, that goes off, well, towards Tarlac, eventually towards Baguio, and a long way beyond. Nagio is the furthest north I've been, but there's a lot more up in the north that I'm told is really very attractive. And because it's further north, it's a little cooler in general. This road, not 
so developed yet. This is going away from a Galang town. Um, there is the beginnings of some development along here. We've got a fairly new small hospital uh, and various other bits and pieces are springing up along the way but it's still pretty slow. And one of the issues for us is that because there's not yet a lot of development there's no drainage out there. Well I think you get the idea not a huge amount to see. Again, both sides, it's a lot more farmland, some still undeveloped land. But it's more of the same for quite a long way. So according to this, we're now about one and a half kilometers away from our property, just coming up on one and a half kilometres. The blurb on the drone, which again, for those that missed it, is the DJI Air 2S. That blurb says you can send this for up to 12 kilometres. But I'm not doing that. And in fact, for now, we're just coming up on two kilometres in a few more seconds. And there we are. Right, it's mid-afternoon. And I think Nat Nat's playing a song. I don't recognize it. If we can hear ourselves, this is the most noticeable part of what's been going on today the north wall trench and now footings and columns so there's about four guys working here and they're making really rather rapid progress so next we need to get some gravel in there they're not using traditional spaces here they're just using big old lumps of something or other Maybe there are spaces in the other ones which we can't quite make out. No, I don't think there are. Anyway, north wall, coming along. And so far along here, as they go with the trench, they have removed all of the trees. I'm not sure if that's going to continue the whole way, but that's what they've done so far. Well, there suddenly seems to be a little bit of activity downstairs. Certainly, there's a load more phenolic board that's been put in here. I'm really not sure what they're doing with this. This looks like stuff they may be reusing. I'll try and find out later on what this is all about. Well, if I just hadn't thought about it for a second, it's fairly obvious what's going on. They're removing it all from the second floor slab. The supports are being put back in, but as before with the beams, it means that that support is not as well distributed as it was. They clearly feel that the boards have been in long enough and the individual supports are now sufficient. And upstairs, yet more concrete going in. They are still pouring beams. So there's a lot of different things going on. If we can make it out inside, uh, I can't go in, I haven't got my heart out on, but they are in the process of removing more of those roof support forms well second floor slab support forms so yeah what's going on here there we go the musical tones of manny lead foreman on bells that was it end of the day and i'm not sure he's serious but i think he is he's just told me all of the roof beams have been poured. So, not exactly, well, they're right, it was before Christmas. It wasn't next week, it was this week. In fact, when they told me, I think they could have said, it'll be done by tomorrow. I'll have to have a look at that tomorrow and make sure he's not pulling my leg, but it may be 
that all of the roof beams are now done. Wow, they do move, they do move fast. Quality still king, but so far they seem to be maintaining quality and moving quickly. Well, it's Friday. They do, as you know, well, you'll know if you have watched many of these, they do work Saturdays. So we'll be back tomorrow to check how are those beams. We'll see you then.